Yayasan Ta'lim, originated in 1980s as an informal seasonal Ta'lim gathering amongst friends at home and office. Classes were more formally organized with the setting of Darul Ta'lim in 1991. In tandem with the growth in attendance and encouraging response from knowledge seekers, there was a need for a more disciplined and professional approach in continuing the cause. Hence, the transfer of the activities of Darul Ta'lim, a sole proprietor, to Yayasan Ta'lim, a charitable corporate entity incorporated in 2009 pursuant to the Trustees Incorporation Act 1952. The, the classes were, be, be, uh, uh, or my classmates, our classmates were some very young, young boys after MCE and some very and old very, folks, older yeah. than us, some in, uh, in their 70s, some in, uh, so, so the, the, the range of students varied. And so the questions were, were, were a bit different. When, when you have a mix of cultures or a mix of uh, age groups, it, 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 it expands your horizon a bit. So, so that that's, makes it interesting. Vision to develop a community that embraces the teachings of Islam based on the Al-Qur'an, Al-Sunnah, according to the understanding of the Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama'ah and as salafu Saleh. Mission to become a learning hub and to enrich fellow Muslims who understand and practice Islam in accordance with the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a wholesome and holistic learning system through the use of relevant infrastructure and current technology. The Asan Ta'lim residence has two components. The concept of this uh, residence basically is a pondok termodern or pondok modern uh, which has a living and learning concept. The, there are two components of, of this uh, building. One is Isan Ta'lim, Pusat Pengajian Isan Ta'lim here, 12,000 square feet of area, approximately. And we have a cafe, a mini mart, village jenazah, uh, very good lobby, and the apartment has seven, there are seven stories of apartments there. This project has been financed 85% by investors. The funds, uh, they advance and they provide help in the realization and completion of the closures. Antara kelebihan uh, apa, Yayasan Ta'lim ni, dia bukan hanya pusat sebaran ilmu, tetapi ia juga adalah pusat kajian ilmu. Yarfa'illahu alladhina amanu minkum walladhina utul ilma darajat. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala mengangkat kedudukan orang-orang yang uh, pertamanya uh, beriman pada Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala dan yang keduanya walladina utul ilm mereka yang diberikan ilmu. Nah, anak ini meng, meng, apa, menghafal Al Quran, menghafaz Al Quran surah-surah pendek. Tapi di Yayasan Taklim ini kita menyediakan pembelajaran memahami Al Quran, memahami makna kalimah demi kalimah untuk kanak-kanak. Alhamdulillah kelas di sini bukan sekadar untuk um, belajar bahasa Arab untuk dijadikan uh, komunikasi tapi yang lebih penting adalah belajar bahasa Arab untuk memahami Quran. I really would like to encourage everyone to join this beautiful class and all the classes conducted at Yayasan Taklim. Uh, I have registered for so many classes at Yayasan Taklim. I'm just finding the time to come insyaAllah some of the um, bahasa Arab classes to re um, polish my bahasa Arab that I actually learned in university and also a few of the very um, established speakers classes in the weekend. When, since my study days, uh, when I was in UK, I noticed many different beliefs even among uh, so-called Muslims. So I've been uh, interested in finding what is the truth. And I can say that um, in Yaya Santa Lim, I am uh, more sure, I'm more certain that the information I'm getting here is what is truly Islam. And I think and I believe this is a very good initiative uh, run by uh, the entities who founded this uh, foundation. And many people have been benefiting from uh, this space. Authentic uh, knowledge and information is given to the nation. Not even intention to reject any invitation that come from uh, this space. Structured programs. We started with only one program, Diploma Pengajian Islam or DPIYT. Today, 
The number has increased to six different diploma and foundation programs. Core programs, Yayasan Talim, began with Arabic classes conducted by Dr. Mahadi Masood as the first teacher. Since then, we have more than 50 classes a week ranging from Akida, Hadith, Fiqh, Tafsir and Tadabur, and others. Yayasan Ta'lim strongly emphasized the Islah approach in sharing and implementing the Deen in practical manner for today's Ummah, in addition to the classical approach to Da'wah by providing a well-structured Islamic education.